Hey guys, this is Sam Boy and I'm Five from Phase 7 here and while I'm finding Fire 31, let's make our transport 3. So it is time to begin arcade mode. And if you guys may or may not know, I did the arcade mode time trial about uh, I don't even know how many videos ago it was, but this time we're gonna be doing the actual racing in arcade mode. So yeah. As you can see, the venues for Arcade Mode are a little bit different than they were in GT2. As you can see, we have single race, the ports, time trials, which like I said, I already did them, and like, 150 videos ago, I don't remember how many videos ago, but I did these. And we also have Free Run, which is basically you race around uh, the track without racing against computer players. And also, um, you know, basically like a, doing a time trial yourself, except doing, you know, these kind of time trials, so yeah. Then we have two-player battle, which is, well, you know, multiplayer. Clear status, which shows you your progress on okay K mode. Yeah. And stuff. And we have low garage, which loading your garage and your other memory card, I think, I don't know. And we also have Eyelink Panel, which I actually don't even know what this even does. Yeah, I really don't even know what that does, but yeah. But for the majority of these videos that I'm doing, for at least a little bit, it's going to be single race in arcade mode. I'm only going to be doing these for I don't know how many videos, but it's probably not going to take that many considering that these are cables, so yeah. I, I actually don't know why it's a majority of these videos, but they're not a majority. The majority of these videos have basically been a career mode, obviously. What I meant to say was is that uh, a few of these videos for right now are going to be our cables, so yeah. And we have three difficulties here. We have easy, normal, and hard. I am, of course, going to be doing a hard mode, so that's what we're going to be doing. And as you can see, the racing venues for, you know, this little setup here are a little bit different than Aggressionsville 2. As you can see, we have, um, the same thing. You basically win all these tracks, you unlock more tracks. As you can see, we have uh, the total length of the track, and also the area it's in. As you can see, these six tracks here are in area A. There will be more areas in this uh, arcade mode racing thing, but you have to unlock them. So, of course, we're going to be beginning the first race of area B, which is going to be Super Speedway. And as you can see, we have different classes here. We have C-Class, B-Class, A-Class, S-Class, Rally Class, and your garage, where you can use your own cars. I am going to go ahead and, uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and, uh, do just random classes for every race, because why not? So, I'm going to go ahead and go for a class A, I guess. Because A is for awesome. I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> As you can see, we have different cars here. Now, so one thing I should mention is that once you start uh, beating races and winning them in arcade mode, you will unlock more races and you will unlock more cars. But it really depends on what difficulty you're on. I think if you beat all the races on easy, you won't unlock any cars or any traps. Except you will unlock uh, the new areas, I think, in arcade mode. And, um, yeah. If you, uh, win these races on normal and hard, you will unlock new cars and new tra- or new, uh, well, new cars mostly. And, uh, Anyways, uh, let's see, what kind of A-class car should I use? Uh, these are all the A-class cars, by the way. Well, for right now, I wouldn't say we unlock more of them. Uh, I'm just gonna go with this side, Impreza. So, 
So yeah. Manual and and well and yeah, that's something else. Once you pick a car, you have uh, a choice between automatic and manual transmission. I am of course gonna go for manual because that's gonna be that's the thing I do in this game and in this let's play in general. Although I don't really use manual transmission when I'm not playing casually. Er, I use automatic all the time when I'm playing to go casually, but not manual. And we also have racing and drift. I am, of course, going to be racing. I think if you go for the drift, you will just basically have your car just slide a lot more because drifting, I don't even know. And, um, yeah, here we go. And once you begin the race, you will not be able to qualify. It will just put you in, it will just let you start the race immediately. So, yeah, you know. It'll basically make you start the race spinning. It'll basically make you start the race immediately. So yeah. Sorry if you keep seeing my spit every time, but I Yeah, sorry if you keep seeing my spit every time I talk, but not much I can really do about it. I pretty much do that all the time when I talk anyway. I spit like all the time when I talk, so. Yeah, I don't really can't really do much about it. And, um, the thing about the three difficulties, it means, uh, you know, the thing about these three difficulties is that when you do easy mode, uh, the race is going to be two laps. When you do normal mode, or, well, you, Easy difficulty will be two laps parades, normal difficulty will be three laps parades, and hard difficulty will be five laps parades. So keep that in mind. Of course, I'm expecting our arcade mode to be super easy because the AI are not very good in arcade mode. So yeah. I have no idea why I went down the code. I have no idea why I went to. But yeah, I'm going to be doing all these races on hard. And no, I am not going to do easy, and no, I am not going to do normal. I'm only going to show hard. I'm only going to show a hard impulse. So yeah. Oh yeah, that was really easy. 
Then I want my two snipers. Wow. So, once we win, we get a trophy. No credits for winning, obviously, because it's arcade mode. And, um, yeah, so, uh, let's do the next race in this area. I swear, I already forgot what area I'm in in arcade mode. I think it was either area A or area F, I don't remember. Well, I guess we're gonna find out right now. So, hard mode. Area A, okay. Memory. Anyways. So, time to do the second race in area A, Memphis Raceway. And I am gonna, let's see, how much time do I have? Okay, I have a lot of time left. I have, I had to do so much talking before I started the first race in the first area, so yeah. For some reason, I thought Area A was Area F. I don't know why. Because I thought maybe Area A would be the last one, and therefore there would be a lot more races. I don't know, I just, I, I already forgot, so, yeah. Anyways, now here's the B-Class cars. Uh. Raceway, here we go. Yay! Oh, here we go. Let's do Raceway. And of course, we're going to drive launch because it's a way to see.
Seems like I'm passing the play out. Slightly. I will have no time to do in this uh, last race in this one minute. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So, we got to the third race in era A. Alright, so the third race in era A is going to be Smoky Mountain. A 
A rally trap. Alright. Which means we're gonna be using rally partners only. How about that? Let's see. About 20 few rally parts here. I'm really not sure which one we use. I'm also not using this one because I never used this part yet in this last play, at least I know of. Ugh. As you can see, this car is not not a full. This thing is an FF car. It's not full drive. All these other real life cars are full drive. Four wheel drive. So I can focus. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I don't know. And this is what in uh, the hard um, We need to do hard mode on these rally traps. There are actually only four laps. So that's kind of interesting. It looks, it looks like we're up against a impressive rally car prototype.
้งหลังTime. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and also comment down in the comment section below. Have fun with this video, and we will do the rest of um, Area A in our K mode. So this has been Fan with the Marfie Central, and I'll see you guys later.